The UK population grew by almost half a million last year to 64,596,800, according to figures from the Office for National Statistics. The above average increase of 491,100 from mid-2013 to mid-2014 included net migration adding 259,700 to population growth. The ONS figures show. This was more than natural growth. Births minus deaths, which added 226,200. The ONS said a quarter of births were to mothers born outside the UK. The overall number of births was down compared with the previous year, continuing a downward trend seen since a peak in mid-2012. Is there any limit to the size of Britain's population? And if so what is it? Prime Ministers from Tony Blair to David Cameron, have always refused to answer that question. To do so would risk accusations of pandering to the far right and provide a hostage to fortune, when their predictions, inevitably, proved wide of the mark. UK pleader Nigel Farage has made political capital out of their discomfort but even he rarely talks about the overall size of the population. David Cameron thought he had hit on a formula for talking about numbers without announcing that the country is full by targeting net migration. But, his critics would say, he only succeeded in revealing how little control he has over it. For some Britain's growth spurt, which began at the end of the 1990s, is a sign of success. It is the secret weapon that will pay the pensions bill and underpin economic growth. Some of our European neighbours struggling with declining populations, such as Germany, can only look on in envy. But anxiety about the pressure on services and the pace of cultural change among many voters is not likely to go away. The population increase was above average compared with rises over the last decade, the ONS said.